and take a quick look at how the, uh, the simple iLogic code works for this uh, custom drawing symbol uh, creation tool. Um, so first thing we need to do is to place the drawing view. Uh, the scale of the first drawing view we place on this sheet will actually be used by the, uh, the iLogic code to correctly space these, uh, these symbols we're going to create. So let's add a base view on here and uh, I'm happy with this initial scale of 1 to 7 so let's just place a couple of drawing views here and that's fine so we have what we have here is a, a, a assembly that's got a sort of rectangular pattern um, all of these components need an identifier a sequentially numbered identifier on there so um, we're going to use our pattern tool for this but first we need to get the scale on here correctly so at the moment the view scale is not coming up at this point I'm going to steal some iLogic code from uh, the chaps at um, an Autodesk blog called Being Inventive um, it's available for download on the Being Inventive blog and uh, if I run this sheet scale rule then uh, we will populate that scale field with the 1 to 7 um, scale and if I look at the eye properties of this drawing just by right clicking on the drawing there and custom eye properties you'll see we have a scale 1 property there of 1 to 7 which uh, the, the eye logic code is actually going to use in order to space the uh, symbols correctly based on this scale so uh, without further ado we can run this uh, pattern rule in here and it's going to start asking us for some uh, values for this pattern so we know the number of rows that we want is one, two, three, four, five. there so if we enter this number of columns is 7 and then I happen to know that the column spacing the center distance between these components is 250 millimeters and the row spacing is 200 slightly less row spacing here so once I do this when I click OK what it's actually going to do is to create a sketch symbol a sketch symbol definition um, actually physically sketch in a new sketch symbol and once it's created that it's going to add place that sketch symbol insert it onto uh, the drawing sheet and it's going to do that 35 times for these uh, for these 35 components so if I click OK and uh, you'll see it chug away uh, perhaps because of my slightly clumsy iLogic code it's going to take uh, it's going to take uh, about about 30 seconds to do that, I guess, um, to create and then place those uh, symbols. Uh, it seems to be a bit quicker this time. Um, so uh, once it's done that, you can see these 35 symbol definitions that have been created, and also then they've been placed. Uh, so we can they're all um, completely separate sketch symbols that have been created there. So um, once they've been placed with the correct spacing, we can just select these and drag them into the correct place on the drawing. There's no uh, ability to... Um, I haven't included an ability to, uh, to place these in the correct place uh, relative to the view. But it's nice and easy to uh, drag these into position. So we can drag these, uh, place them in the correct place to identify our parts. Okay, so I'm just happy to leave those there, and then that's all. That's all well and good there. So that works just fine. Um, so what happens if we wanted to place a another um, pattern of sketch symbols onto uh, another view on this sheet or another sheet on this drawing? We can right-click. If we run this rule again, because the code has got a counter in there to count the number of placed symbols, it will give us the option of placing the next symbol, which should be 36 in this case as 1 to 35 are already placed or we can start again from 1 okay so if I start from 36 and place a, a small matrix of uh, a small pattern of symbols then it's going to go through and create 36 to 39 okay so this all works fine um, I'm going to delete those now um, so one other thing I wanted to show you was what, what happens if the, uh, the view scale changes of this view. So obviously those symbols are not linked to the view. If the view moves or if the view scale moves then the symbols are going to stay in the same place. So um, what we can do is uh, we can actually uh, have a little trick in there for this. So if I delete those symbols, I'll select them in the, in the tree here and delete those. 
um, but I won't actually delete these symbol definitions so you see we've got 39 because we've placed 39 of these uh, the, the symbol definitions are still there so I won't delete those and uh, we'll look at what happens when I do that so um, if I delete this view and change the scale so if I change the scale of this view to perhaps 1 to 4 so it's a much larger view now and we want the same symbols to be placed here so if we right click oh first we need to update the scale here so uh, we'll actually need to right click on the sheet scale and run that rule again and you'll see that will change from 1 to 7 to 1 to 4 so that's fine it might be an idea to actually include the sheet scale um, code from the Being Inventive blog uh, into into your at the start of your pattern um, code. That way, it will run automatically at the start anyway. But um, okay, so if I run this pattern rule now, and we'll enter the same information we did in before. So five rows, seven columns, 250 mil for the column spacing, 200 for the row spacing. And what you'll actually see when I hit enter here is that instead of creating the sketch symbol definition each time and then placing it which takes a bit longer um, because the sketch symbol definitions have already been created and they haven't been deleted here um, it's going to be much much quicker It'll only be a second or two to place these uh, 35 sketch symbols okay so if I click OK now you see how quickly that that works now and let's place those, uh, those symbols so now I can select these and I can uh, I can drag these again into position. These are going to be correctly spaced based on the updated scale, so I don't need to worry about the scale uh, of my view. That's all taken care of. So I haven't checked the um, the size that this uh, adds to the file size of the drawing. Uh, these sketch symbol definitions, but I'm guessing it's not very large. So. Um, given that it's so much faster if the, ske if the set sketch symbols have already been defined um, might be an idea to, if you know you're going to be using these, create the sketch symbols at the start by just for instance creating a pattern of 10x10 10 10 or 15x15 15 15 symbols um, leaving the definitions in there, deleting the generated sketch symbols and then you have them available there to place very quickly um, without generating them each time might be a, a good way to go but um, I hope you find this this tool useful feel free to cannibalize the code as much as you like and post it up again for the uh, inventor community and I hope you get some use out of it thanks very much